And when we talk about survival, it's always shelter, water, fire, food. And typically, unless you've got a real problem with water, shelter is going to be top of your list. So like that first night, I just rigged up a bit of paracord and put a tarp and just made a very, very simple A-frame just so I had somewhere I knew I'd be dry in a rainstorm. But then once I'd like spent a few days there, I really started scouting out where it's going to be an awesome place to my shelter. And you've got to think about not just your beautiful view in the morning where you're going to get warmed up by the sun, but where is going to be close to my resources? How far am I going to have to walk for water? How far am I going to have to walk for firewood? What's the wind direction like? Is my shelter exposed? Is there any standing deadwood that's going to land on it? Then once you decided this is the spot, I spent a while building my shelter and I didn't want to finish it. I think there's something really nice about being out in the wilderness when the goal is to last as long as possible because we work in society in today's time, you know, we're all about get it done, work to the deadline, get things done as quick as possible. Out there, it's like, enjoy the process, make it last as long as possible. And, and so even when I've like pretty much finished it, I was like, right, now let's add chinking of moss to fill in every last little hole. Let's build a fireplace. Let's put in stone flooring. And, and you're constantly refining and improving. I was really stoked with my shelter. I didn't realize I could make something like that. I'd never built anything even close to that before. And it was it's somewhere really homely, somewhere I was very content to be and proud to look at every day.